she's only 17 years old, but she's wise beyond her years. So start that slow Hollywood clap for Melody Tran. A lot of people say those who have a physical disability and are in a wheelchair can't do anything because of the physical limitations. People who have a disability are often judged by their appearance. Uh, whoops. Perhaps in the eyes of the able-bodied people, those who are in a wheelchair stand up from the crowd and don't fit into what they see as a normal category, which then puts a wall between, which then leads to self-doubt and low self-esteem. This eventually puts a wall between normal people and disabled people. I myself have been stuck behind this wall for most of my life, as I don't fight back when the negative thoughts and opinions were thrown at me. So that, was because, that wasn't because I didn't want to fight back. It was because I didn't know how to. More, most importantly, I didn't have the strength to, nor did I have the courage to fight back. My life changed completely when I got involved in an association called Barcelona District in New South Wales. At the moment, they introduced me to the Jacob Edinburgh Award. Participating in this award is a huge challenge, as it is mostly completed by able-bodied people. When I was first introduced to this award, I had a lot of hows in my mind. I kept asking myself, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? But then I thought, why not just stop thinking about the house and look straight onto the battlefield? Just give it a shot. All I had in my mind was that if everyone else can achieve it, they still can I. The other difference there would be is that people would undertake their journeys on their feet, while I have on my wheels. The general world is broken down into four sections. Volunteering, sport, schools, and the adventurous journey. For the volunteering section, for the schools volunteering and sports section, I had to complete a minimum of one hour per week or two hours per fortnight. Bowling was my sport. The most challenging yet exciting part of the world was the adventurous journey. In this part, I had to go away on a trip without my family and experience independent living. Most of you may be thinking, yeah, what? It's just a trip away without a family. Well, it's, there's nothing special about going away without a family for everyone else besides me. I've relied on and gotten used to the care for my family for almost all my life. It took a lot of courage and determination to step out of my comfort zone. I decided to go on a five day trip to Port Stevens for the front of Drew Harris. I was super excited when everything was organized and when all the people were confined in time. But then something threatened to take over. And that was fear. I was scared and nervous because I had no idea what independent living was like. And I wasn't allowed to contact my family at all while I was away. Then the car arrived at home and we pulled up in front of my house. That was when it really hit me. That was when I realized that I successfully achieved the goals I set for the world. A massive self-esteem boost. While the fire was still in my heart, I decided to produce a seed to my silver wall. I pushed myself further this time and went on a cruise trip to New Caledonia. With two heavens. Once again, this was something I didn't think that would be possible for me. When I finished the silver wall, I was scared that the fire in my heart would blow out because I would have nothing to work towards to once the world ends. It took me a while, but I realized that the fire in the heart won't run out because through the Jehovah of the world, I've learned confidence and courage. I've learned to set more to my future and work towards it. My disability used to make me feel invisible. I felt like no one could see or hear me. If I stood up in a wheelchair, they would happily leave me alone. Because in their eyes, I'm almost the person is in the for decoration. No one bothers to ask me what I want to study after school. And no one bothers to ask me what I want to do in my career. Because I'm just a girl in a wheelchair. And people who are in a wheelchair can't do anything at all. I finally found my voice when I... When MD in the South Wales gave me a chance to... 
attend functions with them and do speeches speech on stage. Every speech I've done has been more courage and confidence. It still amazes me at how much my life has changed ever since I have confidence. I never knew how powerful it could be. To me, I think it is important to have hope and the confidence in life because these two things will take you anywhere you wish to have a life. That's your life is a ladder. The top of the ladder will always be the place where dreams come true. Every day, everyone is doing everything they can to climb up that ladder. And I was to be the one who sat at the bottom and watched as everyone else climbed up. The moment I finished my Bronze of the Chihuahua Award was when I told myself it's about time I climb on myself. People think that those who are in the wheelchair can't do anything and I want to prove them wrong. I know I have to work twice as hard to climb up that ladder and to prove to everyone that even though I'm disabled, I'm not different. That my disability won't stop me and it won't restrict me from succeeding. There's always been a layer of the war between normal people and disabled people. But I used to try so hard to build a door in that wall so I can walk, walk, drive through, and blend in with everyone else. But then I realized I was wrong because I've learned that even though I'm disabled, I'm not different. After completing the Bronze Award, I've proved to everyone and myself that nothing is impossible if you set your mind to it. I've learned that I should just stop trying to build a wall in that door and I don't believe it completely, because everyone deserves to be treated equally. I started off in a small and dark place, but then I grew taller and stronger. Confidence is a precious thing I plan to the a bit of They lit the fire in my heart, and that has made all the difference. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Melody Trump!